Swirl is made up of five components, speaking, writing, illustrating, reading, and listening. And we know that when students have the opportunity to do these five things, um, they're able to show their thinking, but they're also able to retain and apply their thinking and their knowledge. It basically is just a piece of paper folded in half that the students can prop up and put on their desk. So you can see the left side and the right side. One side of the prop is for talking. The other side of the prompt is for writing to help students be more efficient in their writing. You actually could use both of these prompts either way. They could use the writing prompts to help them speak. They could also use the speaking prompts to help them write. So they're definitely uh, very much interchangeable. So a couple of recommendations, think long-term use. If this is something you think you're gonna use and use often, I would go ahead and print it on cardstock. I would make sure it's gonna be um, in a way that's gonna last. The cardstock will also help it stand up a little bit better. Is each student gonna have their own? Is each partnership gonna have a table tent? Each small group, what special, special considerations uh, do you need to make? Does this need to be bigger for any of your students? Does it need to be color coded? Do you need more picture support? Is there anything you need um, to help this prompt better support your students. I've got picture supports to try to help students as they're going through those topics. I see, I notice, I can picture, I think the big idea here, I predict, I would model the I see prompt and then I would have my kids, okay, turn to your partner or turn to your table group. Now I want you to try it. Find something that you see in the image, in the document, in the artifact, whatever you're having students look at. The other thing about these uh, prompts is they are so easily transferable to any kind of non-text or text source. They can use them with stamps. They could use them with artifacts. They could use them with music. They could use them with text. They could use them with images. These are very, very transferable to use within your classroom. 